welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be vlogging. It's currently 12.40. I went to bed pretty late last night because I was playing Valorant for like way too long and the games are going really good and I was freaking hyped. But I'm sure you guys have been able to tell I've been trying to incorporate vlogs more to this channel because I stopped for a long time because I don't know, I just, in my head, I was like, nobody wants to see this from me anymore. I must stop doing it. Felt like since I wasn't doing as much fitness content, because my vlogs were always like fitness vlogs. It was like, good morning, here's me doing a few errands, here's a workout, here's me talking, and now it's over. And so I was like, oh, if I'm not working out in every vlog, no one's gonna wanna watch it, so I probably just should stop doing them. But I've been doing them, and I feel like the feedback has been really positive, and it's been really fun for me too. So today I have a couple of things to do. My car is currently being rented out for the next couple of weeks. So I rented a car from Enterprise yesterday. Duke does this thing, it's so funny when he's about to be fed. He like goes and paws at the cabinets or like at the floor, like he's like thinking it's gonna open. I don't know what he thinks is gonna happen when he does it, but it is so freaking funny. So that's what you guys are hearing down there. But yeah, I might drive for DoorDash. I haven't for the last like two weeks, but I kind of feel like doing it today, making a little extra money if I have the time. I gotta picture some stuff for Poshmark. I gotta stream on Twitch. I gotta upload today's video. I gotta upload today's ASMR video. I gotta continue working on my online boutique. I've got so many things to do, but it's all fun stuff. So yeah, like come hang out with me today. I'm making my dog's food right now, like a savage. Every time I do this every morning, the girl that commented and was like, oh my God, I was blown away just seeing you use your hands to crush up the primal dog food. Now I can't help but think about it. And I'm like, is that weird? Is it weird that I do that? Cause now that I think about it, when Nikki fed Matt's primal, she used a fork too. But I just feel like that takes so long. I don't know. Anyway, welcome back to another video and uh, let's hang. <laughs> no, not yet. Come on. Jesus, he always acts like he hasn't been fed in decades. He's like, oh God, the first time I'm eating food. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh wow, thank you, master. So, just got a package. As many of you guys know, I love Alani New. I'm not sponsored by them. I have friends that are though, and their products are amazing. It's actually Katie Hearn's company. She honestly is just like, that girl's just crushing it in every aspect of her life. Yeah, it looks like they have new packaging and possibly a new flavor, because I've never had either of these before, Cosmic Stardust and Watermelon Wave. But I have Tropical, Mimosa, and Hawaiian Shaped Ice. These three are so good, so good. I also really love their Sour Peach Rings flavor. They've been out in the sun for a little bit because the package came earlier and I just now brought it inside. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge and hopefully try one of these later. How cute is the packaging now? Oh, so cute. So impressed. I love it. Two days later. So I was supposed to vlog for you guys like two days ago. And I don't really know what happened in the last two days. My period is started like a couple days ago, and it has never been this bad before. Like I started off. Sorry for the TMI, but also not sorry because this is a natural part of being a woman. I started off with like a super light flow and everything was fine. I was like kind of moody, like kind of craving chocolate every single night, like eating three musketeers every single, like I could not resist the craving. It has never been that bad before. And then it like went away for a day or two and then one day just, just crazy, like very heavy flow, super emotional, super exhausted. I was crying over <laughs> the littlest things. I feel like every two seconds I was texting Terrell or like Diamond or Nikki and I was like, well, <sighs> I read something, I'm crying again. <laughs> like, oh my God, I, it was, oh, I was just so tired and I've just, I've been so tired and I've been so emotional. Like everything is hurting my feelings. Everything is making me cry. So I just didn't, I did not have the energy or like the mental strength to vlog for the last few days. And honestly, I didn't really do much work the last few days either, which I'm not proud to admit. Honestly, I would just like wake up, I would sleep for like 10 hours and then I would just play video games. That's all right, the grind continues. It's currently 2.15, <laughs> I just woke up. I, but I was up sporadically. I listed a bunch of new stuff on Poshmark and I think I'm gonna start leaving it in the description box if you guys ever want to show support. Oh, this is dirty, hold on. 
Oh wow, that's so much better. I noticed it in my last clip and then I was like, I need to clean my lens soon, so there we go. Yeah, if you guys ever wanna shop and support like my old clothes or stuff that I find from the thrift stores. So my first thrifting experience was a learning experience because I bought a lot of stuff that I didn't personally like, but I figured would sell. I bought a lot of stuff that wasn't my size, which some sold, some didn't. I spent way too much on shoes and shoes are very hard to sell. Like this is just so specific. Recently, I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys who are like, I really really want to start this, what do I do? And it's truly a learning experience. Like my brother told me, do not overspend your first time. I spent like $560 my first time, way too much, did not need to spend that much. At this point, I've probably put like $1,000 into Poshmark and I've probably made $1,000 back. So it is definitely something that can be profitable. Now what's happening, the reason it's getting harder is I spend like three hours, four hours a day at a thrift store, not a day, sorry, like two to three days out of the week to really find like incredible pieces. Like I find Urban Outfitters, like rare Zara coats, like Lululemon, vintage shirts, stuff that, you know, you have to really be looking for, but it's all stuff that like I would buy for myself. So now I'm more attached to these pieces. I had like a bunch of Brandy Melville pieces sell today and this like really awesome red vintage Emmanuel shirt. And I was like, oh, like I'm so happy someone else is getting to enjoy it. And like, I got to resell it, but like, ah, oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. So it's like bittersweet now, but I do feel better about it because at least if stuff doesn't sell, I get to keep it for myself. And if it's something that was like a size too big, I know one of my friends or like my boyfriend will take it if it's like a men's thing. So it's all going to good use because either it's going to my closet or it's going to my friend's closet. That's been pretty cool. So yeah, I'm gonna pack some orders, but I did just wake up. So I'm gonna get my life together and I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'm gonna take care of my myself and my pups. So the other day, went to Starbucks, you guys saw that vlog, got some coffee, tasted bomb AF, but just realized, ugh, don't really wanna go and pay for coffee like that all the time. Plus it came in a plastic cup. They're not obviously gonna take a reusable cup right now. So that's fine, that's just how it is, that's how it goes. And you know, we are understanding of the pandemic happening in the world right now. I know that there are cheaper ways to make coffee. Either get a coffee maker, use reusable K-cups, and use the coffee grounds and put it in there. I used to do that. I got rid of my Keurig stupidly because I felt like I wasn't using it anymore. So I literally just gave it to my maids for free. I gave them a lot of stuff for free that day, including my $350 Vitamix blender. But you know, I love them, so it's okay. It's all good. But I am gonna make myself some coffee because even though I slept for nine hours again, I still feel pretty groggy and I have quite a bit to do today. My recent favorite coffee concoction has been just buying unsweetened medium roast coffee. I'm sorry, it's the Starbucks one, so it's literally just black coffee, unsweetened, but it's Starbucks, so you get that quality, quality coffee bean. I would love to add this with ice. I have an ice maker, but I remember the guy saying like, oh, we weren't able to add like a filter, so technically you're just having like tap ice water. And I'd be curious if you guys think that it matters or not, because I thought it was gross, and then when Diane was here, she's like, is it really that big of a deal so now I don't know so if you guys don't think it's a big deal I'll turn on my ice maker again I've just been kind of sussed out but I basically just get myself a cute little mug and I fill it up about three quarters of a way full See there, a lot of coffee. Trying to feel buzzing, trying to trying to be on one, as as the young kids say. And then Diamond got this when she was here. She got organic coconut milk creamer, and this is the French vanilla flavor. And this stuff is actually really freaking good. So it's lactose free, gluten free, soy free, carrageenan free, vegan certified, and has no preservatives. 
the So Delicious brand. It's really good and you do not need a lot of this to like literally a splash of this because it's very sweet. I forgot that I had this when I ordered my groceries online. So I got the Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Oat Milk Creamer, which is also all natural and plant-based. This one just has one extra carb. Other than that, it's basically the same. However, I have a feeling this is probably the like better, more natural brand, but I really love oat milk. I love the taste of oat milk. So with this one though, I do find I need to pour a little bit more and I don't even like my coffee super sweet, but this one, yeah, you just, you need a little more to like get rid of that super bitter coffee taste that I am personally not a fan of. Can you just stir it all up? I don't add any like sugar or anything like that. You get this perfect mocha color. Like so. Oh, I might have added a little bit too much this time. It's sweeter than what I would normally do, but that's how you can enjoy coffee while being lactose intolerant and not die. Super simple, super easy, takes two seconds. And for breakfast, a very, very late breakfast at 3.45, I'm gonna make myself two scrambled brown eggs and a chicken apple sausage, cause these are my favorite. And then I'll probably get like a piece of toast, put some jam on it. Maybe I just eat you up too. How do you feel? Oh, he's getting submissive. Oh, he's get. oh, he's getting submissive. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> but since I'm drinking the caffeine now and this stuff takes effect fast, especially for someone like me who doesn't really drink coffee very often anymore, I'm gonna be eating a little black plum alongside it because these are truly so underrated and they were my favorite fruit growing up. Black plum, so it has like the yellow inside. Red plums are good, they're just, they're not as like bitter, or not bitter, like sour as black plums are. So these are just like, oh, a drug to me. And they're in season, they're not always in season, so I take advantage of them when they are. I can't describe it. Like I prefer when they're still kind of crunchy. Mm. The skin is what's sour. It goes so good with the sweetness. And I was thinking like, back before people knew what plums were and if they were poisonous, you know how scared they probably were when they bit into this? Like, this looks poisonous. Right? Because somebody had to test what was poisonous and what wasn't. Probably like, yeah, it's pretty bomb. Probably about to die. And then they were pleasantly surprised when they didn't die. That's the other great thing about this fruit is you can eat the whole thing. Mm. Now I at least have something in my system to hold me over while I make my breakfast and drink coffee. That way I don't start to feel sick from eating or drinking coffee on an empty stomach. All right, so uh, <laughs> quick little update. You guys saw, uh, you know, me aesthetically put eggs onto a pan and light the stove. And then it turned out that the stove wasn't on. <laughs> So I wasted two eggs. So I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but long, long story short, this is an older building. The gas line is in a place that can be accidentally messed with. And my neighbor's garbage bin lid hit my gas line and turned it off because there's an emergency earthquake valve. So my gas got shut off and then the gas company came and they're like, it's gonna be $75 every time we come and do this, but I can teach you how to fix this. You should tell them to move their garbage bin, blah, 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 long story short. $70 later, my gas is back on. It was just an earthquake valve issue. So today, it's happening again. So I go out to check the earthquake valve and it's not that. And then I test the stove again. Oh, are you? No, wait, it did it again. Okay, I feel better. I don't know if you guys saw that, the flame just turned on and then it slowly just disappeared. Why? So I checked the earthquake valve, it's not that. They have to come again. My whole plan of driving through DoorDash today is out the window. My whole plan of going thrifting again today is out the window because they don't give you a time slot. They're just like, uh, we'll be there by the end of the day. And they give me no like 10 minute warning, 15 minute warning. It's like either be home and be ready to listen within two minutes or we go on to the next person. See my day? <laughs> She's dwindling. 
So I'm gonna drink this coffee because apparently coffee can put you in a better mood. I'm gonna talk with my mans for a little bit. I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat as a replacement to what I cannot cook. I'll probably just have to microwave some chicken, some rice, and avocado, which actually isn't that bad. I don't know, there's plenty of options, but long story short, my oven isn't working, and that means that also my dryer isn't working, so even if I did go and thrift stuff and wash it, I wouldn't even be able to dry it anyway because it's a gas dryer, so. PMS, mercury retrograde, and turning 26 all in one month. I just feel, I feel ecstatic. I feel invincible. <laughs> I feel courageous. I feel independent. I feel independent more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll check in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> All right, all my orders are packed. Wow, looking so good. Looking literally, not. I don't even know how I think that's gonna help anything, but I've got one, two, three, probably in total like 15 packages, maybe 10 uh, that I'm about to go drop off. And I have two pairs of shoes, but I only have one priority mailer box and I'm all out of packing tape. So I'd much rather just ship those out tomorrow. They were just ordered a couple hours ago anyway. So they'll just go out tomorrow instead. And um, yeah. So it is 6.30 and about five minutes after filming my last clip, I got into a car accident and I have never been in a car accident before. The only accidents I've been in was when I first got my Porsche and like it was just such a big car and I my depth perception with like other cars wasn't very good. And I was lucky every time in the sense that like I would side swipe a car, but like I wouldn't. Like my car, their car wouldn't get damaged. It would be my mirror that would get cracked. And it was always with like a big moving truck. I don't know why it was always with the, it was like twice, two or three times that that happened. And I would always get out, they would come out and they'd be like, we're good. Like th this truck is meant to endure anything and then my mirror would just be dangling off to the side. I've been hit, but I have never hit a car. Ever, 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 ever. I am such a cautious driver. <sighs> and today, as I was leaving to go and drop off the packages, I almost didn't go, but I was like, it's gonna be open for another 15 minutes. It's a super close drive, like not even a minute. So I'll just go drop these off really quick. But when you pull out of my building, there is a really bad blind spot on the right hand side because of the way that the road is made. There's kind of like this dent in the road and all these cars park there. So, you know, your hood has to be out before you can actually see if there's a car like close and approaching if there's cars parked on the street. Like in the morning when there's no cars, you could see perfect. So I always inch up really slowly and I just checked my right side and I didn't see anything. So I was checking my left because technically Technically, that would have been where a direct collision would have hit me first. So I was checking my left and then just as I was turning to my right, the lady I hit started honking and I was going like, like slow, but she was obviously going a little bit faster because she's driving probably like 25 because it's a neighborhood road. She just like kept moving as, like I think she was honking, but was gonna continue to drive through thinking I would stop, which would have been the play, but it was just too late. Like it was just too late. My car was just inching forward. Her car was breezing by. By the time I hit the brakes, my car swiped her car. And so, you know, thankfully like nobody was hurt, no airbags deployed, like her car has scratches. There's no like dents. My car took the bigger beating, but it's not even my car. It's um, it's an enterprise car because my car is being rented out. I don't know if maybe I'm putting this energy out there because of my PMS and I'm just like in a worse mood. I wanted to break down and cry in that moment though because I was just like, like, what is happening? Why has it been something like every other day? Is that just in my head? And does it just feel like it's been something every other day because one big thing happened? And in the moment, obviously she was like, like, did you seriously just hit 
hit me like seriously and I literally I couldn't say anything else I was just like yeah I'm so sorry like I, I couldn't muster up I was just like yeah I did I I'm sorry I'm so sorry like please let me fix this like what I've never I've been driving for 10 years and I've never I've never been in a collision that I caused and this was just so avoidable and so by the end of it she was so kind and we ended up talking for like an hour and she was so sweet and just so like I get it you were in a blind spot like thankfully you were going so slow so like it could have been a lot worse if I was just like you know trying to like but I'm cautious like I was going very slow and she was so nice she was so nice by the end of it or even just like the moment that like she kind of had a minute to like cool down she was so polite and um, it just happened to be that it was the one time that with my enterprise car rental I chose not to get the daily insurance you know basically their insurance thing is like if you get into an accident and total the car whatever it is because you paid this daily fee you just walk away and we take care of it it was the one time I've always gotten it the one time that I was like I've been lucky knock on wood haha -ha. Uh, cute and quirky I don't know what this is karma for I don't know if it's mercury retrograde if it's karma if I'm just putting negative vibes out I don't know and like by the end of it she wasn't like this is karma she was like things happen for a reason we were meant to meet each other and I was like oh my god you're so kind because I actually just want to go into my bedroom and cry she's like come come by after we can talk I could teach you about what I do because we were talking about like eBay and, and and Poshmark and she's like I can show you some of the stuff I she was so nice and then I was like yeah just give me like a half hour so I can go to my room and cry for a little while and she's like oh my god oh my god so I just filed a claim and I literally just don't want to leave my house now like for the rest of the month if you need me, I will be in my room. I understand it could have been a lot worse and I'm so, so grateful it wasn't. I'm so grateful she was as kind and, and patient as she was. I'm just more so disappointed in myself. I've been emotional and I was having such a good day and then this happened and now I'm just like, that was the other thing. The gas wasn't working. So then as this was happening, the gas people finally were ready to come but I couldn't take the call because I was talking to her. So now I don't have gas and I damaged my rental car by going three miles per hour in a blind spot. I really think I'm gonna go cry for a little while. So that's why you guys won't see me packing any more orders. You guys won't see me, you know, taking the dogs to the park like I wanted to because I don't wanna leave my house right now. <laughs> I'm so paranoid and just like, I'm just gonna play at home with the dogs and have a movie night with Terrell later on because we were gonna have like a little date movie night together and. happening probably gonna smoke a little bit that might help me a little so good stuff good stuff all right so i didn't uh, necessarily end my last vlog and that's on me honestly i was just so upset yeah, I was honestly just like really perturbed and upset after that whole thing happened. But thankfully, Enterprise was a dream. I literally paid them my deductible, which is like $500, which sucked. It did suck, but at least it's like done. I gave them the car back. They're working with the lady to make sure that her car, you know, gets fixed and repaired. So it's kind of like all out of my hands now. I'm just kind of like in the back end waiting for updates, but I have another rental car. I'll be done at least for now renting my car out on Turo just cause like it's costing me more than it is making me money. Oh, sorry, Dookie. Oh buddy, come here. I didn't know you were right there. Oh God, there's so much happening. Come here, come here, my love, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, today is another day and I just got done doing a little bit of thrifting and I went and got some lunch with Mariana. She's like one of the only friends that I've seen in months since I, <laughs> hi baby, <laughs> oh, hi. Since obviously quarantine and stuff happened. But yeah, I, I just wanna give you guys like a little bit of an outro cause I didn't really give you guys that in the last clip. So thanks so much for watching you guys. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. They've been so fun for me and I don't know why I ever stopped. You guys have made it like such a fun experience for me. So thank you for that. I think I'm gonna get ready to take these boys to the P-A-R-K so they can go play with some other pups and um, call it a day. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a half day today. Work on my website, things like that. All right, well, have a great day guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Duke says bye. He's bye. No, he's like, I don't want this. Bye. No. <laughs> okay.